filmed out uh, through the Black Honors uh, team, uh, Black Music Honors team, and um, I was overwhelmed with with gratitude because as an artist, you know, many a times we we have we are just laser focused on our careers. We're touring, we're doing this, we're doing so many things. And for me, I've always been that kind of, I've always been on the grind. So um, because of the pandemic and, and taking a real pause, it's allowed me to really reflect on, you know, everything that I've done in music and in my career. And um, when you say 25 years, it seems really, it seems strange. It doesn't seem that long, but at the same time, it does seem that long. <laughs> um, but I'm extremely, um, I have a lot of gratitude in my heart just for the fans, for the people, for the, the committee that nominated me at this time. And um, it really makes me feel like I have staying power, that it's going to contribute something to, to my legacy. And um, I feel like it, it's, it's giving me, like it's solidifying my place in history, you know? So I, it's a great honor. I was definitely honored to be invited. Uh, you know, sometimes as artists, we feel out of sight, out of mind, and people forget. But to have that um, platform to come and perform for such a, uh, uh, you know, for Black music, music honors, it was just amazing to me, you know. And I had a wonderful time. Everything was was awesome. Everybody that I worked with when I performed was great. So it was just exciting for me, you know. Uh, it's it's an honor. It's an honor to be able to rise up in the seat to bring um, more spotlight and highlight to a culture that has been probably the leading contributor to what we know as American history and um, and the diaspora being a leading contributor to what we know as world history. You know, they often, as you know, Tweet said earlier, uh, she was saying that the question was posed, uh, what more would we like for, you know, white communities to know about our black community. And she says, they, they already know, and they do, <laughs> they do. They, uh, you know, it's been often said, they, they want our rhythm, but not our blues. We come from a strong journey, a crazy intense journey where we have overcome and we sing through it. We make music, we create from that place. And that's the lasting stuff that has been the stamp and the very blueprint of what this country is founded on. So when we say great again, let's go to that greatness. I, I forget who to attribute this quote to, uh, but I used to hear it all the time. They said, honor up, honor down, honor all around. And so when I think about black music honors and uh, this opportunity we've been given to honor each other, I think it, it makes uh, the whole world great and better when we have this opportunity to ascribe value and worth to one another uh, unapologetically uh, after contending for it and finding the resources to do it. Um, and like Major just said, so the whole world can see um, that, man, we, it's worth honoring. It's worth honoring. And I think when you do that, I think more well, prayerfully, other people can see how to honor themselves too and how to find honor in other things too. And so that's, that's why it's important to me. It's always to me a, a, a privilege uh, to have the opportunity to be able to share to the masses, you know, what we have perfected, what we have done um, for years. And, you know, even though, you know, our particular uh, hue, we don't get the respect that we deserve. Um, I'm glad that we are in a season and a space and a place where we can honor ourselves, you know, and I think that that's what this is, this is, this, that's why this is so important to me. Black Music Honors is a continuation of a show that I made a commitment to do some 40 years ago when we did it in Los Angeles. And, uh, um, you know, so uh, it, it, it's, it's such a joy to be able to have these artists and recognize them uh, and keep the music live, not just in gospel music, but uh, in, in all of our genres of, of music. And that's where we're going with this and you know god has blessed me to 
uh, be alive and well. And as Marvin knows, my, my, my wife uh, uh, recently passed a few years ago. Uh, she's still with me in consciousness and uh, supporting all of what I do. Uh, but it, it keeps me active and, and I just love how it all comes together. First of all, that's my big brother. And uh, when they, when, when I got the call to say, hey man, we wanna honor Fred, I mean, it's a no brainer, I'm gonna try to do that. And uh, he's, he's been my big brother because he earned it. You know, I got a chance to work with him on UT, at UT with Dave Hollister, Eric Robeson and myself. And um, it was, we went out on tour together, man. And it was just a band of brothers out here just doing our thing. And it was, it was beautiful to see one, how laid back he is, but also his genius. It was like, it was effortless. You know, the ideas he was coming up with and how we would manifest those ideas in ways that were compelling. And so it's an honor to honor him. And that's what I mean by uh, that honor up, honor down, honor all around. If you can recognize what's, what's gold in front of you, you know, then you can see it in yourself too. And that's what it's been like to work with Fred. Well, well, I didn't get the call to uh, honor Fred. Uh, you know, I'd be honored if they had it asked me. Um, but uh, uh, it's easy to honor uh, champions. Uh, he absolutely represents champion in every way, even in the midst of his COVID scare right now. He's still championing his duty to make sure he represents kingdom well. And, um, you know, what he represents and has represented to the culture, it, it assures that he has a multitude of folks praying for him and praying for his, you know, his recovery uh, in this. Um, I got to sit in on a little of uh, Bishop uh, Sappin and, and Brian, Brian, you a pastor yet? You a pastor? Should I say pastor? <laughs> um, uh, I got, to, I got to see, <laughs> see a little of their, um, of their, uh, tribute, uh, to Fred and it's mighty, yo, like everybody it's worth it. It is worth it. Even if the show is just on Fred, it would be worth it. It's it's going to be really, really great. And it, it made all the sense in the world to have these two vessels uh, be the ones to honor him um, and, and the other singers. It's it's going to be good. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know. I, I met Fred when I was 15. And, uh, 15 years of age, uh, commissioned uh, the group that he founded, did their first concert ever at my home church. And I actually opened up for commission at their first concert ever, yeah. And then, uh, my God, eight years later, seven, six, seven, six years later, um, Fred actually discovered me and uh, brought me into that group commissioned. And uh, I spent six years learning from him and, and, and being deposited into by him. Um, so I tell people all the time, jokingly, you know, people never would have made it if it wasn't for Fred Hamm. Saw something in a 22 year old college graduate. And, you know, 30 years later, you know, I'm still here um, because he decided to, you know, mentor and, and, and bring me along. So when I received the call, I mean, anytime anybody asks me to do anything on the behalf of Fred, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be there because I'm a very, very strong believer um, that you should never, ever forget the bridge that brought you over.